What does it look like out today? It's sunny. It's sunny. So I have a son, which in Hebrew yes. is Shemesh. Can you say Shemesh? Shemesh. Shemesh. a number of limitations and he may not be able to participate and the program welcomed him with open arms. You're a superstar. He loves his classmates, he loves his teachers, uh, he really loves when he can make connections between things that we do at home and things that he learns in school. As we became increasingly aware of the fact that we can't afford to lose a single Jewish child to assure a decent Jewish education for every Jewish child became absolutely imperative. Gateways is trying to bring all of those children who want a Jewish education into the network that Boston has set up of 14 Jewish day schools and after school programs. We truly have become the community's organization for Jewish special education for children in multiple settings and with a wide range of disabilities. The handing down of our Jewish traditions, beliefs, rituals, and knowledge from one generation to the next. What's more essential? What's a greater priority? And what's more obvious than the simple fact that this must be something that's available to all our children? Through Gateways, children with special educational needs can and do become successful participants in the Jewish community. We think a day school education is really important to helping children form their Jewish identity, to helping them to grow up to be informed Jewish adults and citizens of the world, to help them develop their character, to help them be knowledgeable about Jewish customs and traditions, literature, um, Torah knowledge, Jewish law, really everything. Without gateways uh, to offer Bini support services directly in the day school and to help coordinate his instruction with the day school teachers and the therapists, he wouldn't be able to access day school, Jewish day school education. Uh, it would be very difficult for us to put something together independently without the guidance of professionals and the staff at Gateways. We're the proud parents of triplets, now 14-year-olds, um, but one of the triplets actually has significant special needs. He has significant cognitive impairment. Um, he's sort of on the autism spectrum and also has a diagnosis of cerebral palsy. We always knew that for Daniel and Rebecca, their Jewish education would be sort of typical of what other kids in the community experience. But for Joshua, it wasn't clear that those opportunities really existed for him. And so we were incredibly grateful that Gateways could find a way um, to bring Josh into a community, provide a community for us as parents of a child with special needs, um, and make sure that he was getting as much education and as much opportunity as his siblings were. For special needs children like Binny and Josh, and for their families, Gateways programs are working to provide access to a Jewish education. Gateways Executive Director Arlene Rems explains. Gateways provides support services for children in Jewish day schools throughout Greater Boston. We provide speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, reading specialists, and learning specialists and instructional assistants, always above and beyond what the day schools themselves can provide. We also provide Jewish education programs for children with moderate to severe disabilities who have not historically been able to participate either in their synagogue Hebrew schools or in day schools. These are children with autism, with visual impairments, hearing impairments, cerebral palsy, for example. We serve more than 150 students across 10 day schools. Our Jewish education programs have also grown significantly. We now have more than 60 students participating across all of the programs. There are more than 50 students in the Sunday program. We have had 20 students celebrate their B'nai Mitzvah, and we have another 10 students in the class this coming year who will celebrate their Bar Bat Mitzvah in the next year or two. Gateways provides professional development to teachers throughout the different day schools. But what's exciting and what's special about our professional development is it's not one-shot workshops. We provide ongoing coaching, consultation, training, mentoring to teachers, helping them modify assignments for not just the children with special needs, but for all children, to help make them better teachers, to be able to better differentiate instruction in the classroom. 
Gateways is making a difference in the classroom, within families, and in the community. And the community has embraced Gateways, reciprocating with real support for the important work being done. We couldn't do what we do without the help of teen volunteers. These are teenagers that give up two hours, two and a half hours a week to work with a child with special needs and to receive training. We have weekly training for these teen volunteers. So they're not only spending time supporting the child in the class, but they are actually learning the skills of how to best support that child. When I first started Gateways, I was coming in with certain preconceptions of what it was going to be like, what the kid I was working with was going to be like, and it ended up being completely different, but completely wonderful. And I might not have communicated with Josh in a way that I thought I was going to be communicating with him, but we found our own little ways of communicating, which ended up being really special. Everyone at Gateways, teen volunteers and trained professionals, students and parents and families, they're all depending on the involvement and support of the community. Longtime Gateways advocates and partners, Mort and Marcia Ruderman, their son Jay and the Ruderman Family Foundation have shown a singular commitment. They explain why they're such enthusiastic supporters of Gateways. Within the whole Jewish culture, um, you're supposed to do mitzvahs, it, just comes with being Jewish, very frankly. So Jewish education uh, is, if you're interested in continuity, it's, it's one of the things you've got to support. I was a teacher, so I know how important education is. And as far as special needs kids, they deserve everything that any other sibling has. And if we can help them do that, We'd love to. I mean, that's what our focus is and that's what we want to do. Gateways has been the big, biggest success of the Ruberman Family Foundation. It's something that we want to see grow, we want to see take, take off. It's sort of a beacon of light in terms of Jewish special needs education. And I'd like that to serve as a beacon for all of the country so that people can see the really special thing that's happened here in Boston. We're very, very proud of it. And I'm excited about taking this story and letting people around the, the U.S. and Jewish communities all over the country learn about what Gateways has done here. The Ruderman Family Foundation and many others are working hard to ensure Gateways ongoing growth and success. And those who are touched most directly benefit greatly from their work and are appreciative of their generosity. But there's still so much to do and our entire community must rise to the challenge. The honor of the Jewish people is bound up in our ability to bring everyone into connection to the Jewish community and the Jewish people, to give every child a decent Jewish education. If we don't do that, I think we're really embarrassing ourselves. We're sort of saying that we're not willing to really live up to the demand that God or Jewish history uh, makes on us, which, which is to create an inclusive Jewish community, a community with compassion. That's the success of Gateways, and I think that, um, that people that feel that special needs children are an important part of our lives uh, and that de deserve to have a Jewish education, I think that once they put two and two together, they're going to be drawn to Gateways. Imagine the possibilities. Imagine the possibilities of what we can do together as a community to serve all children. Gateways is there to make sure that everybody is part of the Jewish community. Toda. Toda.